thing to keep in mind is you don't want to get in here and get this where it jams anywhere because it, it, if it kicks back on you and you let go of it it can really hurt you so you have to be really careful with these things I get my dust mask and my hearing protection on Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to unclamp that door and turn it to a position where I'm not out of position with that grinder there, with that angle grinder. You get out of position, you can get in trouble really quick. So if you're in a situation where you can reposition your material where you're comfortable and you got and you can control the grinder better, that's the thing to do. Um, I would not use that piece of equipment there if I'm out of position, if I can't see really good what I'm doing. If I don't have good control over it, then I wouldn't use it. Like I say, it's very unforgiving if it gets in a bind or something and jumps back on you and if it's still running. That's, that's another thing I want to mention. I've mentioned this before in my videos, but with this here, it's got a paddle switch. So the good thing, you know, that I like these much better than the ones you just switch them on and they're running until you switch them back off. At least with this, when you let off the trigger, yeah, it's still running, but not full speed, and it will slow down, especially if it gets in a bind on something. So, I really like the paddle switches for using this Lancelot by King Arthur. Anyway, so I'm gonna reposition this, finish cleaning that one up a little bit, and on the next hole, I'll show you the drilling process and using the sawzall on it. Okay, so stay tuned. I freehanded that with the angle grinder now to find out if the backside is too high and hopefully it's high not low all you got to do is you can set your uh, square your frame square on there you want this you want this part to be flush against this and then all you got to do is measure the distance this is flush and hopefully you can see that that there's a right uh, right here there's a gap and that's not even an eighth of an inch so what you do is you mark it here go on the back side here and mark down from this edge down an eighth of an inch and mark it and then you can go every inch or every however much you want and do the same thing like this is a little bit more so you measure that with a tape measure that's um, or you can estimate it whichever you want to do like that there is an eighth so there again you just scribe it right there go on the back side and then come from this edge down an eighth of an inch and mark it and just work your way all the way around I mean over here that's a lot that's that's quite a bit that's um, I bet that's a good quarter see so there again make sure it's flush up against here because if it's this way or that way you're going to get an incorrect reading so flush on the face here and then measure it yeah she's three sixteenths so there again you'd mark it here come on the back side measure from there down three sixteenths inch and mark it and just work your way around if you're concerned about getting this pretty um, 90 degree angle 